Hello and welcome back to the YouTube Tips and Tricks Help Series. And today is episode number 6, YouTube Tips. If you haven't checked out the last 5 episodes, you can go into the playlist and check them out. Or you can go back to the link down below and you can go watch episode number 5. So today is episode number 6. And this one is a little bit longer than the last one. This one has 9 sections. So let's get going. Number 1, Description. Add your website link to the description of YouTube videos, and please remember that it should start with HTTP colon slash slash, not just www. If you miss if you miss the HTTP part, it won't be visible as a link. They'll have to like copy it and paste it into the browser. So you want to remember the HTTP colon forward slash forward slash. Number two, the tags. Give all the relevant tags to your video. Do not try to duplicate tags. For example, don't give these as ta Don't give all these as tags. Video blogging, video blogging, tips, video blogging guide, and video blogging benefits. YouTube automatically removes some of the, your duplicate tags. So video will be cut out, and blogging will be cut out, and won't be as efficient. So don't waste your time. Number three, the channel type. YouTube offers facility to change your channel type at any time like guru, comedian, director, youtuber, etc. Choose one of choose any one of the categories depending on your brand. For example, I'd be entertainer. Number 4 is Q. In new design, while seeing the related videos, if you like any one of the videos, keep over keep over the mouse on that particular video. It will show you add to Q option. Then it will appear to the right side of your currently watching video every time whenever you log in. Number five, playlists. Do you have the series videos like part one, part two, etc.? If yes, then collect all your videos and create a playlist for your videos. It would be very helpful for viewers to see the series of YouTube videos. Number six is a whiteboard. While explaining the tutorial in the video, use a whiteboard as a background so it feels like the speaker and viewers are in the same conference hall. Number seven, full screen. While uploading your videos, try to remove the sidebar of YouTube videos. These are called pillar boxes. While doing screencasting, you must do this. Upload HD videos always so that it will fit into the full portion of the player. Number eight, complete the profile. In your YouTube channel, fill out the about me section. I have seen many of the YouTubers that have missed this do this. Show your website link in the channel. It will help the viewers to know about your blog or website. In addition to doing this, write your Twitter or Facebook account links to get more advantage of social media. And finally, number nine, choose music. While doing screencasting, you can add music to your YouTube videos. After you upload the video, depending on your video length, you can select your own music, adding music to your videos. There are so many techniques to increasing YouTube views. The following tips will be very helpful. You follow these steps, you'll feel the difference in your two videos. So that is the YouTube tips and tricks, episode number six, YouTube tips. If you guys enjoyed, please remember to leave a like, it'd be greatly appreciated. And remember to check out episodes one through five if you haven't done already. The next episode will be number seven, increasing views. And on that note, thank you guys for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. Hopefully this helps, and I'll see you guys next time.